Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about this beautiful Portland Leather Goods Nora bag. So if that sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned. You guys, isn't she so beautiful? I decided to see what all the hype was about with Portland Leather Goods and I decided to go with the Nora bag and I'm so happy I did. I love the crescent shape. I love the smooth leather. And then look at this detail here, the three trees, so cute. And that's the back there. This is a shoulder bag and the strap is adjustable. And here is the zipper. I love the contrasting color with the gold hardware. Ooh, and it's very smooth. Oh, okay, nice. And then there's one big slip pocket there. And then just an open space. Love it. So what I want to do is move from the bag I've been using into this beautiful bag here, and that will just give you an idea of what it can hold. So this is the bag I've been using. And let me just take a few things out. My wallet, lippy. Okay, so here are a few things. I'm going to start with putting this inside. This is just my catch-all. It has my EDC, pepper spray, pen, and a few other things inside. Let's see if that fits. Oh, perfect. And look, there's so much room in here. Okay. And then let's put this pouch. This just has my Ricola in it. And then my lippies are in here. And then of course my wallet. Maybe I'll put that in the slip pocket. So that's what it looks like. And then a few more things. My tissues and hand sanitizer. And then a mirror. Wow, I am impressed. I honestly, online, it looked a little smaller, but when this bag arrived, it was bigger than I thought, which is great. And I'm so happy it fits a lot of stuff. Actually, I can put a lot more in here. Let me see if I can put a book inside. Okay, so let me see if this will fit. Oh, wow, okay. So there you go. The book fits. I'm sure if you had like a planner or a small agenda book, you can place that in here as well. And there you go. I forgot to show you guys my phone and my keys. And a lot of times in my videos, I forget to show these because I never put my phone in my bags. I always have it in my hand. And then my keys, I rarely have my keys on me because my spouse is the one that drives a lot of the times. And yeah, I just never bring my keys. <laughs> but let me show you, these also fit in here. I did remove the book so I can have more space for this stuff. This is an iPhone 12 mini. And there you go. Wow, I love it. I love the color. I think this color is great for, I think, all seasons. And honestly, you can dress this up and dress this down. So yeah, it's a great versatile piece. It kind of reminds me of the Polen Numero Dix, doesn't it? It's like that crescent shape. It's gorgeous. And I love the smell. Oh my gosh, I love the smell. I'm not a shoulder bag kind of girl, but I wanted something different because I have a lot of cross bodies. And I'm so glad I decided to go with this one. It's very spacious and I love the leather and I know it'll have a beautiful patina over time. And yeah, on the Portland Leather Goods website, this had different colors. I think the next one I want to get is either the black smooth one or the pebbled leather, but 
It has beautiful colors. It even has this beautiful plum one. And this retails for, I believe $132. But on their website, they have a coupon code that will give you 25% off. They also have something called an almost perfect section. And you can get this for about $88. Since this was my first purchase from Portland Leather Goods, I wanted to purchase it premium and I'm so happy I did. Have you guys ever seen this bag before? Now that I have my own Portland Leather Goods bag, I know what all the hype is about. So I highly recommend this. I will give an update on the wear and tear, especially since this is a smooth leather. I know you can probably see all the scratches easily. Like, let me show you, it came like this but as it patinas over time, it should look beautiful. And yeah. So let me know down below, do you guys have this bag, this beautiful Nora bag? If you do, how are you liking it and how's it holding up? So there you go, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.